Well, it's all arranged? Yes. Thank you. It's not too late to change your mind. I know. It's not gonna happen. I wanna rely on myself. I don't wanna be dependent on my friends. You wouldn't be dependent. You just have to let them be there for you along the way. That's not how it would happen. Well, why not? I mean, sure, they'd want to help you up during the initial stages, but then, as you gained independence... No. I wouldn't gain independence. They wouldn't just support me, they'd want to help me. And they'd want me to know that I could rely on them, and eventually, I would. I don't want that to happen. I don't want to become a burden. That's not how it would be. And what about Jade? She really cares for you, Seb. Are you prepared to leave her behind as well? Well, all right. If that's what you want, we'll leave Summer Bay tomorrow afternoon. What is it going to take to I get through? I know what you're doing, Seb, and it isn't going to work. Pushing me away isn't going to help either of us. I love you, and I want to be with you, no matter how hard things get. I'm leaving. I know. Now I'm coming with you. What? You can't. I've already made up my mind. Nothing you can say can change it. Jade. This is the right thing for us. I'm strong enough, okay? And so are you. Things are going to be just as tough in Brisbane. Skipping town might change that. I know. But if I have to have a new life, then I want to have it somewhere else. Well, they do have a very good physio unit. And I'll only be as far away as to the phone. Hi, is it okay if I come in? He's all yours. Everything's organised. My flight's booked and I'm on the plane after you. I wish you hadn't have done that. Oh, it's okay. I'll only be half an hour behind you. Jade, you're not listening to me. I love you. I love you so much, but I have to do this on my own. Why? Because I want to help you. You say that now. You think you're going to be there forever. Yeah, I will. You know I will. But one day, you're going to want another life. With all the things that I can't give you. And then you'll start to hate me. I couldn't live with that. And I know that you... Don't you see? I'm not doing this to save you. I'm doing it to save me. I don't want you to go. I know. Mate, we uh, knew it would be a bit hard for you to get around and say goodbye to everyone, and, well, we all wanted to wish you all the best. Thank you. Well, the, uh, the coffee machine's all warmed up and ready to go, and there's a bit of tuck around the place, so get into it, eh? Do you want me to get you a drink or some food? No, oh, I'm all right. Seb, we got you this phone wheel. He didn't. We know that. We expect you to use it. <laughs> Gonna miss you, little brother. Difficult the last two weeks have been for Seb. 
And uh, we'd just like to say thank you for your kindness and endless support. Um, Seb has made uh, many wonderful friends in Summer Bay, friendships that neither distance nor time can change. And although there may be a, a long road ahead, I know my grandson has the determination and courage to see it through. He has a very bright future ahead of him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. in touch, okay? Luke's gonna want to know where you are when he gets back. Okay, uh, you look after yourself, mate. You'll, you'll come and visit. Sorry. Come on, love. Thank you. You make sure you look after Don, too, or I'll have to come up there and sort you out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really scared, Uncle Al. <laughs> See you, Seb. Hi. See you, mate. I think it's worth a while, Papa. <laughs> <laughs> Have a safe trip back. Yeah. Um, Don, you'll let me know how the boy goes, won't you? Yes, Maura, of course I will. Thanks. See you. Oh, the trouble's safe. I'll get back to the hospital, so... Yeah. I'll talk to you later. Okay, right? see ya.